Hi, I'm Avital Harari, endocrine surgeon at UCLA Health. Today I have the pleasure of discussing with you the topic of adrenal nodules. These are growths that happen to be found on an x-ray or a CT scan that was ordered to look for another problem unrelated to the adrenal disease. If you see these on a report, you may wonder, what should I do about these? To understand what these growths are, maybe we should first ask, what are the adrenal glands and why are they important? These glands sit above each kidney and make hormones that control your metabolism, your blood pressure, your immune system, and your body's response to stress. Because imaging has gotten better and better, we find more of these adrenal masses or tumors than ever before. These are called adrenal incidentalomas. These nodules are very common. By the age of 70, up to 7% of people may have an adrenal incidentaloma. So what do you do if there is an adrenal nodule on one of your scans? Should you be worried? I want to assure you that most of these nodules are benign and do not cause problems. However, there are a small number of them that can cause serious disease, so it's important to talk to your doctors about them. When do we want to do something about them? Well, usually your adrenal nodules will need treatment if there are signs of cancer or if they make too many hormones. To determine this, your doctor will need to order some tests. Sometimes masses can make an abnormal amount of hormone, more than your body needs. Your doctor will be able to see this with blood and urine tests. They will send tests checking for steroid oversecretion, which is also called Cushing syndrome, or secretion of too many hormones related to blood pressure control, including adrenaline and aldosterone. Adrenaline-producing tumors are also called pheochromocytomas. If any of these hormones are elevated, then these tumors can cause serious changes in your body, which should be treated either medically or surgically. How do you know if your tumor is a cancer? Well, your doctors will sometimes order a special CT scan of the adrenal gland and look at the size, density, and borders of the tumor. Usually, cancers are bigger than six centimeters, are very dense, and have irregular borders. However, some are small, so looking at the whole picture is important. One common mistake is to perform a biopsy when an adrenal incidentaloma is discovered. Biopsies of the adrenal gland are usually not helpful or needed. Biopsies of the adrenal can also be dangerous because if the tumor is secreting adrenaline, it can suddenly release a large amount and raise your blood pressure to dangerous levels. Therefore, a biopsy of an adrenal gland is usually not recommended unless there's a chance that the adrenal nodule is a cancer from a different part of your body that traveled to the adrenal gland. In regard to treating these incidentalomas, we offer surgery to most patients with a functional adrenal tumor, meaning they make too much hormone, where we remove the adrenal gland and the tumor. For patients with non-functional tumors, if the imaging is suspicious for cancer, then it should be removed. If the tumor is not removed, it's important to have close follow-up with the scans and repeat laboratory levels to see if the tumor starts making too much hormone or if it grows. That can happen in up to 20% of patients. Please call or refer to our website for more information and to learn how to schedule an appointment with one of our specialists. Thanks for watching.